Generation Z, will we let COVID-19 define us? Will we allow coronavirus to dictate the narrative for our generation? Generation Z was being labelled as the generation of opportunity, the limitless generation, the generation who would change the world for the better. We are now the generation who is living through coronavirus and will have to live with all of the challenges that the virus has brought about. Generation Z is the cohort born between 1995 to 2010, a generation who has had access to more opportunities than ever before. We're able to educate ourselves for free and at our own pace via YouTube. We're able to start businesses for free and market ourselves via Instagram. We're able to share our thoughts for free and with the masses via Twitter. We have been blessed with opportunities that no other generation has ever had, which means we interact with the world around us in a different way to any past generation. The way we interact with each other and attempt to solve problems has completely changed. No longer do we need to go to a post office and write letters or buy stamps to stay in touch with friends. We just use Snapchat. No longer do we need to go to a library and spend hours finding books to gain information. We just use Google. Life has been relatively easy for us in a lot of different ways. But we are currently facing our biggest hurdle yet. A hurdle which many truly believe will be a defining moment for our entire generation. Something that our great-great-grandchildren will study in history classes one day. We cannot neglect what COVID-19 has done to us as a global populace. Millions of deaths, tens of millions of cases, families torn apart all across the globe, global economies ruined. It is impossible to neglect what this virus has done to all of us. That I cannot stress enough. This virus has and will continue to affect our lives irreversibly. We, the youth, have lost loved ones. We face the toughest job market in a generation. We've lost countless opportunities. We've not been able to make and meet new friends, which is the very essence of our early lives. In just six months after the announcement of lockdown, the Samaritans received 1.2 million phone calls with 25% of callers expressing that they are having suicidal thoughts. This is a period of complete and utter destruction. And unfortunately, we still have a relatively long way to go. Now, I've been lucky. I have not lost a loved one to COVID. The worst thing that's happened to me was enduring lockdown in the same way that we all had to. So I do speak from a position of immensely good fortune. However, with this unwanted period of empty time, there has been one real question that keeps coming to mind. Will we as a generation allow this virus to determine our futures and the narrative surrounding our cohort? Just over a year ago, we were the generation who will change the world with our adoption of technology, as well as a genuine interest in moving towards an entirely sustainable planet. I do not believe that this has changed. Even in the darkest times, we can find reasons for hope and strength without overlooking the absolutely devastating negatives. We can ask, what have we learned from this period and how can we use it to better ourselves going forward? We've had so much time to stop pursuing our passions. Usually to start following your own true desires and passions, you would need to take a bit of a risk, potentially quit your job or forsake your social life. Most of us are no longer commuting to work. Many of us were put onto schemes such as furlough. We're not allowed to even go into work. Bars and restaurants in some parts of the world remain closed to this day. Now these restrictions are not a dream come true. Please do not get me wrong. But they have provided us with a chance to focus on our personal goals. We cannot see our friends so readily, so now we're able to focus that time into personal projects. Maybe that's building a business, making an album of songs, or starting a charity. Now the path of using time gained from recently lost opportunities for personal development is one that many have decided to tread. America is seeing a 13 year high for new businesses starting, owing entirely to coronavirus. We're seeing thousands of new content creators growing followings of millions of people using their creative talents on platforms like TikTok. It's a common truth 
that sometimes a little bit of chaos can actually provide us with the opportunities that we need in order to shape our own destinies. Recessions always lead to new organizations and leaders emerging. General Motors launched just after the 1907 crisis. CNN took to air when the US inflation hit 15% in 1980. And modern organizations like Airbnb and Uber all rose to prominence after the 2008 global financial crisis. Throughout history, periods of turmoil have always allowed for new leaders to shine and new ideas to grow. Throughout this period we are currently going through, maybe you've had the chance to start thinking about your long-term ambitions. What can you be doing to get yourself ahead? There will be thousands of young people who also want to achieve your long-term goals. What can you be doing to get yourself ahead? To ensure that you put yourself in the best position to achieve your own long-term objectives. Thousands of others want to do the same thing that you do. So let's start using our pockets of time wisely, now, to ensure that we can fulfill our potential. This is your chance to get ahead and ensure that you are on the right pathway to fulfilling your potential and reaching your long-term goals. We've always been a generation with everything we could ever need or want at our fingertips. But maybe these tools that we grew up with and we're so blessed to have had have actually made it harder for us to break out and to thrive. Maybe this is our generation's first moment to start breaking through. Now everyone's attention has been diverted, and completely rightfully so, but maybe this is our chance to start laying the foundations for ourselves to fulfill our personal long-term objectives. One of the things we must remember, particularly as I speak from a British perspective, after every recession, there is a spike in recruitment. So using this time wisely now for personal development, even if your music doesn't achieve the numbers you hope, or your business doesn't take off as you'd expect, one thing that is for certain is that you're getting yourself ahead of the competition, ready for when companies begin hiring again. This is a chance to really expand your horizons, to develop your own skills, and you know for sure that you'll benefit from doing it one way or another. Also, I believe that there has never been a generation better placed to deal with a job crisis like our generation. We are a generation who is consistently proving ourselves to be great at creating our own opportunities through enterprise. This is what we are known for in a way that no other generation has been. Dedicating this additional time, we've unwillingly been dealt. Productively to your own personal projects will allow you to progress without a doubt. So what are you waiting for? Use this 10 minutes or so now to reflect and give yourself some perspective. We've been so lucky. We now face a tough time, but we know that tough times only bring out the best in the world, the best leaders, the best ideas, the best talents. Now what are you going to do in order to make the most of this period? Are you going to ensure that this period will be one that our great great grandkids look back on and say this was the generation who embraced innovation and caused major social changes? This really is our chance to determine our own narrative here. There's a reasonably cliched quote, but I think it's a truthful one. Tough times do not last, but tough people do. I believe truly and wholeheartedly that we are a generation of resilient, persistent and creative people. No matter what the media speculates or what YouTube comment sections say about us belonging to the snowflake generation, we are a generation that faces a constant flurry of rejection, a generation that must keep up with constant changes and innovations, a generation who feels like they have to be perfect or face being cancelled. So what will you do? Starting today, to ensure that you come out of this period in a better position than how you came into it. Throughout the talk, the narrative is really focused on why we should worry about ourselves and almost selfishly use this time to benefit us individually. Let's not forget why it's important for us, the youth, as a collective, to step up. We shape and drive innovation. We, the youth, have such an important role to play. The World Economic Forum said that we're on the cusp of a fourth industrial revolution, 
highlighting creativity as one of the top three most important soft skills to have, with speculation surrounding creativity to take the number one spot. I don't know about you, but when I think creativity, my mind instantly paints a picture of young people coming together to build the future. So if we are, as the World Economic Forum predicts, on the cusp of a fourth industrial revolution, then I don't think it's too bold to claim that we, our generation, Generation Z, will be at the forefront of it. So if you are the type of person who wants to be driving change, either from the front as a leader or from behind the scenes, right now is your opportunity to get ahead, to start pushing yourself and your ideas forward. Generation Z has always been one that is bold. With COVID being a time of pain and a time of uncertainty, it will lead to more people being hesitant. But this is the time to take a risk. Someone has to be the next big musician, entrepreneur or activist. This all is not just to benefit yourself, but society as a whole is relying on us to be ready for this fourth industrial revolution. Our generation has already been standing up. Alyssa Carson, the 19-year-old astronaut in training, and is preparing to be the first human on Mars. Yet again, Generation Z is proving that we can accomplish world-defying achievements at younger ages than ever before. Young people are also using their voices to influence society in the most meaningful of ways. Individuals like Bimini Love, Nadia Okamoto and Gabby Edlin have campaigned tirelessly for years to ensure that the tampon tax is to be removed. And in 2020, we saw nations like Great Britain and states all across the USA wake up and begin to change laws as a direct consequence of the work that these young people put in. Well, let's think about Marcus Rashford who used his platform to ensure that young people did not go hungry throughout lockdown and beyond, forcing the British government to rectify their own policy and to act rapidly. Marcus then also held the government accountable for their shortfallings and reacted to his demands ensuring that free meals were available for all young people. We the youth are beginning to shape our environments at a younger age than ever before. It is important not just for ourselves but for society as a whole that we stand up for our beliefs and keep pursuing our passions. It's also important that we look out for each other. This period is one that is mentally draining. Our generation is known for being one that looks to offer support both physically and emotionally. Only by supporting one another will we be able to come out of this period in the best possible way. Even in the darkest times, we can find reasons for hope and strength. The best way to do this is by supporting one another so we can all find our own hopes and our own strengths. So no matter what your driving force is, becoming a performer, an entrepreneur or an activist, right now is the most important period of our lives to wake up and realise that we've been blessed with so many opportunities that the overwhelming majority of us currently overlook. Now is the time to get ahead and become the change makers that we've always wanted to have been and we've always predicted to be. Now is the time to support one another to ensure we can all make the most of our opportunities. We are now the generation who is living through coronavirus and will have to live with all of the devastating challenges COVID has brought about. Generation Z is the generation of opportunity, the limitless generation, the generation who will change the world for better. Will we allow coronavirus to dictate the narrative for our generation. Thank you.